Imagine not having internet at your house or even being able to, uh, able to access it, having to use a mobile hotspot for remote work or school. It's a reality for many people living in rural parts of North Alabama. And News 19's Madison Neal has the story of a Marshall County woman wanting that problem solved. Tracy Stewart says she's been trying to get internet at her house for more than 15 years, but she feels that providers keep giving her the runaround because of where she lives. This is 2021. I, you can't get internet. If you can get a phone, you should be able to get internet. She lives in rural Marshall County between Arab and Gunnersville. Several of her neighbors face the same issue. It's just this small little area right here where they seem to have a problem because there's not a lot of homes. Stewart says she's called internet providers multiple times a year since she moved in 2005. The girl that I talked to at at t who was a supervisor, told me that even if I had enough money to pay them to come out here, they wouldn't service out here. Spectrum said that I would have to pay $30,000 up front for them to come out here and just survey it. But now it's desperately needed. Her 12-year-old granddaughter is living with her and needs internet for online schooling. And all I have is my phone, a hotspot for my phone. Which is expensive and unreliable. I'm talking about a child's school. And like today, we was uh, trying to do her schoolwork, and my phone wasn't picking up a good enough signal. This year, Alabama Governor Kay Ivey awarded nearly $17 million to help provide broadband services in rural, underserved areas. Ivey said the pandemic reinforced what we already knew, that Alabama's broadband coverage is an issue we must continue addressing. They said the last time it was surveyed out here was 2005. I was the one who called them in 2005, and they said we're working on it. Just give us six months, we're working on it. Well, it's been 16 years. Stewart says her neighbors have also tried to get internet at their houses over the years, and at this point, she's just desperate for the problem to be solved. Reporting in Marshall County, Madison Neal, News 19. And News 19 reached out to internet providers AT&T and Charter Spectrum for comment on what they're doing to bridge the digital divide. We're yet to hear back.